Welcome to our Beer U module on Beer Clean Glassware. In this module, we're going to talk about why it's so important to get a glass beer clean and what tools and knowledge you're going to need to get a glass beer clean either at home or in a bar or restaurant. Beer clean glassware is important for the ultimate appearance, aroma, and taste of any beer. Serving beer in a beer clean glass can dramatically enhance all of those elements and make the beer much more enjoyable for the drinker. That means a better experience for the drinker and a higher potential for profits for bars and restaurants that serve beer. But it's important to note that getting glass to be beer clean is not the same as washing any other dish. Washing a beer glass like any other dish will not make them beer clean. Here's a close-up of a beer glass picture I found on the internet. This is clearly a dirty glass, and there are a couple of telltale signs that let us know that. First, notice the bubbles clinging to the inside walls of the glass. Bubbles would not form or stay there if there wasn't dirt or debris on the glass for the bubbles to cling to. Second, notice the distinct ring closer to the bottom of the glass. Below this ring there are no bubbles, and that indicates that there was probably some liquid sitting in the bottom of this already dirty glass that removed some of that dirt. Lastly, there's some obvious crud and crap around the outside of the glass. Would you want a drink from this glass? Or would you serve someone a beer in this glass? Hopefully not. There are two basic ways of getting a glass beer clean. Glasses can get beer clean either by washing them manually or by hand, or by using a specialized glass washer or a dedicated dishwasher that is only used for glassware. For bars and restaurants, cleaning beer glasses manually normally requires a clean three-tub sink. Each of the tubs is dedicated to a different purpose in the cleaning process. But before cleaning a beer glass, make certain to drain any remaining liquid from the glass into a separate drain, preventing that liquid from contaminating the cleaning process. Now, The first tub would be filled with hot water and a non-fat or non-oil-based detergent. Specialized glass cleaning solutions are readily available in many grocery department and restaurant supply stores. In this first tub, the glass should be scrubbed with a brush. The second tub is the rinse tub, and in the rinse tub you simply want to rinse the glass by dunking it heel or bottom down into the rinse water and then bringing it out and emptying it out. If you dump the, dunk the glass top down, you're going to create an air pocket in the glass which is going to trap any of that soap, cleaning solution, or dirt from the first process, and you're not going to get it rinsed out properly. The third tub is the sanitizer tub, and you also want to dunk the glass heel down into that sanitizer tub so that you get the sanitizer completely around the glass, and again, not creating that air pocket. Once you dump out the sanitizer, just place it in the wire rack and let it dry. Most of my beer glass cleaning takes place at home, where I don't have a three-tub sink or an automatic glass washer. But it's very easy to get glasses beer clean at home with only a little bit of extra effort. What you'll need is a cleaning brush, some glass cleaning solution, and a drying rack. Never use regular dish soap. They usually contain oils or fats. Bar glass cleaners or glass cleaning solutions that do not contain oil or fat are pretty easy to come by in a supermarket, department store, or restaurant supply store. Scrub your glass with a brush. Rinse the glass in clean water and let it dry. One, two, three. Just make sure to keep your brush and drying rack clean and dedicate them to this use to avoid contaminating them. Beer Clean Glass Cleaner and Sanitizer is typically sold in powder form and comes in either plastic bottles or packets. Some grocery or department stores sell it, but almost any restaurant supply store will have a variety of options, and there are many online sources through which to purchase it. The packets are easy to use because they are pre-measured for certain amounts of water. For home use, the plastic bottles of powder make it easy to use only what you need for a few glasses, and they can last a very long time. Cleaning brushes are easy to find in many different stores, and specialized glass cleaning brushes are easy to find in restaurant supply stores or online at fairly low prices. Many bars and restaurants have automatic glass washers or dishwashers dedicated to cleaning glassware, but this sort of automated assistance is only as good as the method in which it is used. So always make sure that the washer is only used for glassware and never for food or other dishes. 
Other dishes can contaminate the washer, making it impossible to get beer clean classware from it. Use only the correct detergents and sanitizers. Oil or fat-based detergents do just as much harm as they do good, just like when washing by hand. Make sure to maintain a proper temperature setting. 130 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit is preferred. Always air dry that glassware. Again, don't use any towels. And always store the glassware away from odors and food products to prevent the glassware from being contaminated. There are a number of bad habits that many of us have that should be avoided in order to keep glasses beer clean. First, never dry your glass with a towel, rag, or paper towel. This just allows lint and residue from the towels or other dishes you've dried with them to accumulate on the glass. Second, don't polish a beer glass. This just contaminates it. Frankly, I'm too lazy to polish a glass myself, but I like to let people think that I avoid it for more serious reasons. Third, don't stack glasses on top of each other. This can cause the glass to chip or crack, sometimes leaving tiny shards of glass or cracks where debris or bacteria can hide. Fourth, store glasses in a cabinet right side up. There's no need to turn them upside down, which can also cause them to crack or chip. There are several simple methods for testing to see if your glass is actually beer clean. The sheeting test is the first. Clean water should simply sheet away from a glass and off a glass and should not form any droplets. The presence of droplets on the glass and clinging to the glass would indicate the presence of dirt and dust. Second is the salt test. If you wet the inside of a clean glass with clean water and sprinkle salt around it, it should stick everywhere on the glass. That indicates a clean glass. Salt not sticking to certain parts of the glass indicates that there are dirt or grease on that part of the glass. And last is the lacing test. Lacing should form a ring after each sip when you're drinking a beer from it. In a dirty glass, the lacing will form a random pattern. And those distinct patterns in the lacing usually indicate places where dirt or dust has accumulated. Lastly, once your glass is beer clean, it's time to serve beer in it. Here are two tips to serving a better beer based on how the glass is treated. First, the glass should always be at room temperature or just slightly chilled, never frozen. The ice that accumulates on a frozen glass is often trapping many contaminants like sanitizer or dirt, while the severely cold temperatures make it more difficult to taste the beer. If you're going to chill the glass, make sure it is dry before chilling it. Second, some people like to dip a clean glass into cold water before pouring and serving beer in it. This helps to remove any dust or debris that might have gotten to the glass since it was cleaned and also allows for a better pour and head retention in the glass. Just make sure the water you're dipping it in is clean. Thank you for joining us on our beer glassware module. We invite you to stick around for our beer glassware quiz which will begin on the next slide. It's a 10 question quiz that will test your knowledge of the material presented in this module. But here are a couple of resources that you can go to to get more information about this same material.